Hi, I'm Cindy with Howley Homestead. I'm a little nervous about the topic today because it's been such a hot topic and uh, very controversial, but I wanted to talk to you about clickbait. I have an opinion on it. I'm sure you have an opinion on it. I'm just going to read my thoughts here. I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget anything or ramble. Um, so I'm just going to read it to you. This is what I feel about clickbait. My own paraphrase of the definition of clickbait is when a headline, title, or thumbnail is sensationalized to bring more clicks to a link or a video. It usually doesn't specify whether dishonesty is part of the definition or not. Some people, uh, uh, some people believe anything attracting attention is clickbait. Others only consider the misleading ones to be clickbait. We live in a world of clickbait. This is true. It's all around us. News articles, magazine headlines, blog titles, and more, including YouTube videos. But does that make it okay? Personally, I don't think this is always a black and white issue, but there are definitely many creators that use clickbait in a deceitful way. Let me give you a few examples from YouTube that I personally believe cross that line. Tragic beach accident. You might have seen this video. It's a really big channel, really popular channel. Personally, I like this family. They do a daily vlog. I like them, but they use clickbait on almost every single video, and I don't like that. Um, the tragic beach accident, the thumbnail had a picture of their little boy laying on the beach with water all around him. He was just knocked over by a wave and he cried. He was a toddler. Um, he didn't get injured and his mom was right there to pick him up. No big deal at all. Nothing tragic about it for sure. Um, another one is, I thought I was going to die. They make it so dramatic when really they just had the flu or a cold or something. And I felt like I was going to die. but. Why would you put that as a title if you're really just, I mean, that's an exaggeration. You're not going to die. You're just, you just got sick. <laughs> um, another one that I've seen a couple of homesteaders use, and there's probably other people as well, is I quit. They're implying that they're quitting homesteading or um, living off grid or whatever, implying that they can't handle it. They may talk about how they'll never quit or how, why some people do quit, but they're misleading people by making us think that they are quitting, they can't handle it anymore. And that's deception. Um, another example of clickbait is when they make the thumbnail like a large busty woman and it has nothing to do with the video. This is false advertising and clearly wrong in my humble opinion, but it is allowed. It makes me angry, always has, even before I started my own channel. I feel I've been duped. I've been tricked. I feel like they don't value me as an individual, as a viewer. They only see numbers and dollar signs, not people. Other examples that some may consider clickbait are maybe not deceitful, but something is done with a thumbnail or title just to draw more attention. But it does pertain to the video. Maybe the video creator uses all caps, smileys or hearts, or wording that, um, or a thumbnail that attracts the eye, but it is from the video itself. I still don't always like this, but it doesn't make me angry like the other examples. I don't feel like they lied to me, but as long as it pertains to the content, I feel they are simply trying to get their video noticed, but in an honest way. I think there's a difference between getting it noticed and lying to people to get them to click on it. It's not the same thing. To me, it's a matter of integrity. You can say it's fine for people to get more views any way they want, which actually includes buying views for some larger channels. Or you can say it's flat out wrong, but the bottom line is that even though it is allowed, these channels lose people's trust because we feel deceived. We have been deceived. Where's the integrity these days? Why can't people see what they're doing? I mean, clickbait, clickbait makes people angry very angry, yet they still justify it because they have a kid to care for or whatever their excuse is. Maybe that's their main source of income or whatever. They quit their job. Good for you, but don't lie to people. It's just wrong. My channel is small and I really don't expect it to get huge because I don't want to do things like this if that's what it takes. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. I've even considered unmonetizing my videos because I have literally only made a few bucks from this and I haven't even seen a penny. 
So I'm doing this for fun. Lately, I'm enjoying it even more because I've found a community here and we're supporting each other and getting to know each other. They are great people. I'm really having a good time with that. I prefer to use this channel as a tool for community so we can truly help each other while making great friendships along the way. Some of my new friends may choose to use clickbait, and while I disagree, I have the choice, if I realize it's clickbait, to watch or not to watch. I can still respect others while choosing not to give in to the pressure. We can all still get along, or should at least try to. Agree or disagree, we need to agree to disagree. <laughs> Subscribe or unsubscribe to whatever channels you wish. Give your views. This is the thing, it's your valuable time. YouTube is free, but your time is not free. It's your valuable time. Give it to the channels that you choose to support for whatever reasons. As a side note, I checked our own analytics on our channel, and we're not very big. I have less than 150 subscribers, but in the last 30 days, our view count has gone up 14%. That's a big percentage. Our subscriber count has gone up 13.6% in one week. One week. And all of this without the use of trickery to get people to watch. So we want to commit to you today that we will not be using deceitful clickbait for our videos. We don't need more views that badly. We don't want those kind of views anyway. We want people who genuinely want to hear what we have to say or who maybe we can help in some way. We want viewers to know what our content is about and not be led to believe the opposite. I guess that's all I have to say on the subject. I just want our viewers to know where we stand. I know this is all a very controversial subject, so if you want to comment below, please be respectful, be mature about it, please. We don't need to be acting like junior hires here. Don't be rude to others just because you disagree with them. I hope we're all above that. So whatever your opinion is about clickbait, thanks for watching, and I hope you can respect our decision for our channel, even if it means less views. Thanks a lot, and I hope you all have a great day.